Hello and join me in this tutorial as I teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. Now what kind of equation is this? This is your polynomial equation but of what degree? Looking at the left you see that this is raised to power of 4 that is degree 4 but observe that at the right side there is also x to the fourth power and you know expanding this with this at the right reduces the equation to a degree 3. And what it means is that this is leading to a degree 3 polynomial and we expected to have only three solutions for this x. Join me in this tutorial as I teach you how to solve this step by step. It's just so easy. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comment. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with our solution. So let's repeat what we have. x plus 1 to the fourth power is equal to x to the fourth power. Now we can rewrite this knowing fully well that for every a to the power of m raised to power n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, which is equal to this. Now we can rewrite this to give us x plus 1 to the power of 2 is also raised to power 2. Multiply this, obeying what we have here, it gives you back 4. Is equal to x to the power of 2 is raised to power 2. Multiply this, it gives you 4. Remember, this is positive. So we're going to have x plus 1 to the power of 2 is raised to the power of 2. Take this to the left. It becomes minus x squared raised to power 2 is equal to 0. Now, looking at these two in the brackets and the sign in between, you observe that this leads you to a squared minus b squared, your algebraic identity, which is always equal to a plus b into a minus b. We cannot have this as a and this as b. So applying this difference of two squares on this, we have x plus 1 squared plus x squared, that's the first, into x plus 1 squared minus x squared is equal to zero. Now, what do you do? Remember, for every a, b to be equal to zero, either a is zero or b is zero. So we're going to work with this first. We are going to have x plus one squared plus x squared is equal to zero. Now, to expand this, remember, for every a plus b to the power of two, it is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is our algebraic identity that will help us to expand this. So doing that, we have this is a, this is b. So we're going to have x squared plus 2 multiplies x multiplies 1, then plus 1 squared plus this x squared. Everything is equal to 0. Keep solving, we have x squared Multiply this, it gives us 2x plus 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is 1, plus x squared is equal to 0. Now let's collect these two together, they are the same terms. So we have, remember the coefficients are 1, so it gives us 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is your quadratic equation because the highest power of this x is 2. We're going to use the formula method to solve. And to do that, we have, and also for you to have watch through this point, it shows what we do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. Let's know what you feel about this class in the comment. Thank you for always engaging. And let's keep doing this to have x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we're going to apply this. Remember, your a is the equation of x squared, which is 2. Your b is the quotient of s, which is also to c is the constant, which is 1. Plug this in the formula. We have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by our a is 2 multiplied by our c is also 1. is divided by 2 times our a is also 2. Keep solving x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 2 multiplied 2 times to give us 4 
you multiply the CG source negative 8 divided by 2 multiplied by E self is 4. So we have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus. Subtract this, you have root of negative 4 divided by 4. Now this negative sign in the square root shows we are getting a complex solution. To remove it, we are going to have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by 4 is divided by 4. Now remember for every root of a multiplied by b is root of a multiplied by root of b. So applying it here we have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 4 and everything is divided by 4. Now keep solving x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus for every square root of negative 1 we replace it with an imaginary unit, which is i, multiplied by square root of 4 gives us 2 and is divided by this 4. We have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i, use 4 to divide each numerator. So we have this, divide this by 4, and that gives us x is equal to, this we divide, we have negative half, plus or minus, this week guy will have half i. And this gives us the first and second value of x. But remember we left a statement behind. So we need to recall what we stated behind that x plus 1 raised to power 2 minus x squared should also be equal to 0. Keep solving. Also remember we said a plus b to the power of 2 is always a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if you apply it on this, we are going to have x squared plus 2 multiplies x multiplies 1 plus 1 squared. Then we have minus x squared is equal to 0. So this gives us x squared. This will give us 2x plus 1 squared is 1 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now you see that this and this are the same coefficient. So x squared minus x squared is gone. So we are left with 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So to find x, we subtract 1 from both sides. And if you do that, we have 2x is equal to negative 1. To get x, divide both sides by 2. If you do that, we have x is equal to negative half. And this gives us the third value of x. Remember, this are uh, the first. So let's rewrite it to have the first value of x is negative half plus half i. And then the second value of x we got is negative half minus half i. So these are the three solutions for this particular equation. Remember that this is the real solution because you can find it on the number line. And these two that contain both the real and the imaginary part are the ones we call the complex solutions. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. Like this video, share with your friends. I will see you in our next class. Thank you and bye-bye.